Gargle Snacks House here with another episode of Gargle News, your sort of bi-weekly news to all things gaming, even though it's been over a month. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, for this week we have a lot of news. EA's new college football game has been released, Prime Day just happened, Xbox Game Pass has a lot of changes, Netflix is making games, and a new Nintendo Switch is rumored, as well as some more stuff. The world has been busy. For starters, the long-awaited college football game is here. It's been a long time since the previous edition, and uh, EA Sports' College Football 25 released last week. It's been a big hit, to say the least. The popularity and hype was building for weeks, and the game seems to have really lived up to the expectation. It's already one of the best EA Sports games, though that's not really saying much. All, j- all jokes aside, though, the game is actually really good and looks really realistic. The uniforms, like the game day atmosphere, Everything else about it seems really great. Recruiting seems good, and the Road to Glory mode looks cool too. Um, And there's been a lot of funny clips already, and it's only been out for a couple days. I personally haven't had the chance yet to play it, but hopefully in the next week or so, I should be getting it, and I probably will spend too much time playing it. (laughs) Uh, Next up in past news, Prime Day just occurred, so we uh, hope that you got some of those deals. Not sure how good they were, but I did see that the uh, Ryzen 5, 5600X was down to $112, as well as uh, Newegg's Fantastech was going on. I built a PC prior to these sales, so I didn't really get to cash out on them. That's why I didn't know what they were. But uh, there will be a video on that soon, hopefully. <laughs> uh, next, we have the greedy company of the week. Uh, Xbox raising Game Pass prices. Hooray! Just kidding, it fucking sucks. Uh, the previous PC, PC Game Pass standard price was $9.99 a month and is now $11.99 a month. It is a $2 increase, which doesn't sound like much, but you know, it can add up over time. They're also making big changes to the way that Game Pass is on console. If you already have a subscription, it'll stay the same, but if you're new, it will now be $14.99 a month and you won't have access to the day one games, just Xbox's back catalog similar to the way that ea pass functions the new price for game pass ultimate is $19.99 a month and xbox live gold annual price is now $74.99 for the year instead of $59.99 thankfully for game pass if you already have a recurring subscription your price won't change until september 12 2024 but for anyone who just canceled and is now resubscribing you'll already be paying the new prices in other game pass news Uh, Modern Warfare 3 might be coming to Game Pass. It's been rumored that it's coming very soon, which would be crazy and historic since Call of Duty games are usually not on Game Pass. Uh, I don't know if they ever have been. It would have been a long time ago if they ever were. But if Modern Warfare 3 comes to Game Pass, it could open the gates for following Call of Duty titles to follow, which would be interesting. It would really be interesting. Moving on from Game Pass, in an interesting turn of events, Netflix is stepping into the gaming world too. I wonder if they'll also slap a subscription onto this, just like another subscription for everybody else to enjoy. Anyways, after dabbling with some interactive titles like Black Mirror, Bandersnatch, and Carmen Sandiego, Netflix decided to step more into the AAA PC gaming industry. Before that, they also made their own version of Minesweeper for mobile, and they have other interactive games like Cozy Grove, Camp Spirit, and The Case of the Golden Idol. The world of gaming for Netflix seems pretty confusing, but I imagine that they're trying to follow the most profitable and mainstream way of making games, like mobile and weird interactive games. So I'll be interested to see what ends up coming from them as they get more involved. In Fortnite news, FNCS is coming this weekend. Admittedly, I haven't been paying much attention. Um, Really, it's just because this season is terrible, um, to say the least. The entire meta was shitty, just didn't really make for good pro play. The Nitro is brokenly overpowered. The medallions and guns are boring, and um, it's just not enjoyable. I'll probably watch for like a little bit, but I can't really see myself sitting down and watching pro players Nitro into each other's boxes. Like, that's the most boring shit ever. Um, It'll be interesting though to see who qualifies for the LAN events, but you know, other than that, I mean, I don't have much hope for them. Epic Games will probably do a classic move, make a terrible season for the actual like LAN event, and then it'll just be another shitty LAN event. Recently, there have been rumors that there is a Nintendo Switch version 2 on the horizon. It has been announced that there will be a successor to the Switch within the fiscal year, with them also saying that they are planning to beat the scalpers by producing enough consoles for the demands. 
The Switch 2 could be similar to the original Switch. Maybe it'll be something like the way the Wii and Wii U are related, where Wii games and remotes are compatible with the Wii U, and they have a pretty similar way of playing. Uh, it seems to have been rumored that the launch could be in early 2025, which would be really cool, as well as releasing with a new 3D Mario. Maybe this can even lower the prices for the original Switches, which so I'm excited to see what Nintendo brings us. The Olympics could be adding a new event as Olympic esports could be coming in the future, as the International Olympic Committee announced a 12-year partnership with Saudi Arabia to host the event. Games like Rocket League, League of Legends, Street Fighter, and EAFC will be the games on the list. Uh, some games like COD and Counter-Strike probably won't be added because of the fact that they're shooter games and I guess they don't really like that at the Olympics. Uh, the CEO of G2 Esports says that the Olympics will put gaming, and he says, quote, at the same level as the Winter and Summer Olympics. To be fully honest, it's a brain dead take. Uh, esports will never be the same level as like actual Olympics and actual sports, especially with their selection of games. Like, is there really going to be millions of people watching League of Legends? Like, like no, it's not going to happen. Uh, the event hasn't even happened yet, and it's already under fire, especially due to the selection to play in Saudi Arabia, a nation that famously has terrible human rights and rights for women, which probably makes it a problem for their to be like women gamers, which the G2 esports CEO said there would be a lot. But, you know, overall, it's probably just going to be the next addition to the growing list of esports fails. That's all for this edition of Gargle News. A lot has happened since our, our last one. It's almost like the world continues to move forward, even though we're not recording news videos. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next edition of Gargle News.